Hello and welcome back to the Harriet Miller Art Channel, giving you the techniques to produce amazing artwork. Today we're going to be producing this beautiful Fossa cat drawing. So get yourself some plain white paper, you will need a pencil, an eraser and a black pen, that's it. And don't forget if you like to draw animals you can download my free pdf of how to draw horse galloping which you'll find in the link just here. So let's get started. We're going to start off nice and easy with an oval shape just over here on the right hand side. So just draw a simple oval shape, just draw it lightly in pencil, I'm doing it a little bit heavier just so that you can see it on camera. So just roughly just draw your oval shape, just like this. Okay, next to it, we're going to be doing another oval shape, but it's slanted and it's also to the left hand slide and slightly lower. So here we go, it's another oval shape just here. This is going to be the thigh of the fossa. There we go. Brilliant. Now we're going to do the head. So this is going to be a shape just like this. So just follow what I'm doing. Come up and round and in again, just like this. Now these are all rough guidelines, okay? So you can change them now, use your eraser, they're not the right size or proportion. Okay, we're going to draw a line from here down to here. So it's going to be a curved line. So just draw this curved line coming around. So that's going to be the head. Can you see it's taking shape now? We're going to draw some little ears. So one up here and one up here. And two little eyes. So one here and one here. Okay. Next, we're going to draw the incredibly long tail. So starting from the back, you'll come, you'll just touch the top of this thigh muscle, come all the way down and all the way along, just like that. We're going to draw the back leg now. So just starting here, bottom left hand side of this oval shape here, we'll draw a line going to the left, just a little way. Then you'll come down, just a little way, and to the right. Okay, now the front legs. So coming out from here, draw a line coming down and across. And the same next to it, one coming down and across. Okay, so this next stage I'm going to do in pen, but please carry on in pencil. I'm only doing it in pen so that you can see it clearly on camera. So we're going to focus with the face and we're going to start off actually with the nose. So it's a cute little nose like this. There's like a little comma shape there. And then it comes round underneath. And then the top of the lip comes round like that. Comes round to the left, but not much to the left. And comes up like that. Okay, we'll do the top part now. So there's a straight line coming up. And then a little curve where the eye is. We're going to then carry on and to the top of the head. Just like that. We're now going to carry on the mouth just to about there, and then the bottom lip, and then bring it round, just like so. Now we're going to be drawing these beautiful eyes. Now the fossa cat's not actually a cat, um, but they have got these really feline features, and one of them being these feline eyes. So they're actually um, closely related to the mongoose family, and they live in Madagascar. I'd love to go to Madagascar. Let me know if you've been there or if you live there, in fact. So there we go, there's one eye. And let's draw the other eye. Just there, peeping out. Okay, let's focus on the ears now. So we have one ear coming up and down, like so. And then the other one coming round. The heads look a little bit like Siamese cats. I don't know what you reckon, but I think they do. Okay, there we have it. Now, I'm just going to draw a little marking there. Okie dokie. So now we draw the back of the neck, which comes down and round. Follows this line, but when it gets to about there, that's where we stop. I'm going to follow this down and round till we hit the top of the toe. And then I'm just going to draw the paw. round 
and then you'll come all the way up until we hit that line there. Okay, now this is at the top of the other leg, so bring it up, round, like this, and then the top of the paw. So one, two, another toe poking up, like this, then comes up till we hit that oval shape there. Okay, let's add some claws. There we go. Perfect. Okay, now we're going to carry on now with the body. So let's just draw, there's a line coming up and round, just like that, just to show the top of the um, of the foreleg. Now the tummy comes up until we get to about here. Okay, now we're going to draw the hind legs. So this one's really stretched. So it goes all the way across until we get to there. Okay, now we're just going to draw in some of the muscles. So that follows this oval shape here. So just draw a line where that oval shape is. Okay, then draw up just another line just there. Okay, now we're just going to draw the back of the hind leg. So it comes up round here. We go round there and then round here. And then we're just going to draw the paw. So one, two, three, just like that and add some claws. Brilliant. Okie dokie. Now we're going to draw the other hind leg that's just peeping out from behind. This one's just kind of just crouching in the background. So just draw a line like that. Then it hits the floor, goes down like this. We're going to draw the paw. Comes up a little way. And then it's the big thigh part. Just like that. Don't forget the claws one. Now for the super duper duper long tail. So we're just going to do the back first. So just draw the back, comes round, just slightly higher. Follows this long line that we did before. Comes all the way down and round, slightly wider, just towards the end with some little furry bits at the end. And then we're going to come back in again. Follow this line that we did before all the way up. It's a little bit more furry, so I'm doing these little kind of wavy jagged lines until it hits the body. Now I'm going to add in a few details. So a couple of dots here where the whiskers are and just draw a few little whiskers and the same on the other side, just like that. I'm going to make it a little bit darker around the front part of the eye, just here where it's in shadow just like so, a little bit darker underneath here. And I'm going to add in the front part of the neck, just like this. Now I'm gonna add in a little bit of shadow underneath so it doesn't look like it's just floating. So just using these um, horizontal lines, I'm just going to do some shadow underneath, just like this. Okay, so last but not least, if you haven't gone over it in pen, do so now and then erase all the pencil lines. So there's our finished fossa cat. If you've enjoyed this one, you'll absolutely love how to draw a lion. So click on the link just here and consider subscribing and liking and I do hope to see you on the next one. Thanks for joining me today. Bye bye.